Oh. Det är han som försöker tunnla hejden, det går hon inte med på istället. Nilsson, Ja, fint spelat, vilket mål! Hi again everyone, back again with another video of a goal from the SSL to analyze. This is a goal from a recent women's match between Pixbo, the team in red, and Lund, the team in black. As you probably saw, it is the black team that scores here. They are attacking towards the left of the camera. Right now, the ball is with this red player here. I just wanted to have a look at this goal because it's a counter-attack goal, but there are some differences between this counter-attack and the goal that I looked at in my previous video, which was also a counter-attack. So I thought those differences were nice to have a look at. So I'll get into the analysis and we'll have a look at those. Okay, so the red player, they tried to get around the black player. They obviously lost the ball and the black team is now on the counter attack. The first thing I will note is that it only seems to be the front three black players which get involved in this attack. The black defensemen don't really look like they get involved much and they don't look very eager to get involved. You can see that they are sort of advancing up the court, but it's not very rapidly and they're just sort of jogging up. This is the first point of contrast to the previous goal that I looked at where all five players were very eager to get involved in the counter-attack and they all started to run towards the opposition net as soon as the ball was turned over. So that's just a minor difference, but I thought I'd note that down. Now, moving on to the actual tactics and the way the play evolves here, the next point of contrast is that this player here was the most advanced player and they have gone wide rather than going straight to the net. So, again, in the previous goal that I looked at, the most advanced player just went all the way to the opposition net. This player here has essentially moved out of the middle and gone out to the boards here, or to the side. And they have let the ball carrier come into the space that they essentially were in. So, the ball carrier and this most advanced player, they have actually switched positions. The most advanced player has moved this way and the ball carrier has started to come inside here. And you can see what that has done just by looking at those arrows. It has created a two on one against this red defenseman here. So this red defenseman, they have to hold their position they can't move out wide because that would free up the ball carrier to basically take it into the net. But by moving wide, that black player has created a very easy pass, which has basically no chance of being disrupted out to the side here. So here you can see that the pass has been made. The ball is now with this black player here who went from the middle to out wide. And now that the pass has been made to this player here, the red defenseman that was originally put in that two on one situation is now drawn out to the ball carrier. They are essentially enticed out by that player having the ball to apply pressure to that black player to try and stop them dribbling in or getting an easy pass away. They need to try and take away their time and put them under pressure so that they cannot make a good decision. Meanwhile, the original ball carrier has continued to drive into the net here, into the goalkeeper's box. This has the effect of drawing this other red defenseman to that player. You can see that originally this red defenseman did not have a player to mark and they were just sort of waiting for the situation to evolve. When there was a two-on-one against her partner, 
and then from there, as the original ball carrier offloaded the ball and drove into the net, that red defenseman started to mark her so that she was not an immediate scoring threat for just a one-two pass. So a pass out here and then a pass back in. And I think it's fairly obvious what has happened as a result of that. By this player here being drawn to that black player who is now driving the net, it has freed up space in this area here as the red player moves closer and closer to their own net. That space has now been filled by this third black player, the third one into the zone on the attack. And that area there is obviously a very favorable position to have a shot from. And as you can see, it's just a simple pass and a one-time shot. I will also note that this black player with the ball does use a little bit of deception here. Their first option is to have a look for this player here, which makes this red player need to err to the left a little bit here and cut that passing lane. In doing so, it opens up this passing lane here a bit more. If they looked to this black player coming in as their first option, the red player that was closing the gap on them may have had the idea to move a little bit to the right and may have closed that passing lane more effectively. It's just a minor detail, but it definitely makes the pass easier for this black player with the ball. Okay, so I would like to go through an alternative scenario here to see how the play would look if the most advanced player who ended up going wide actually went to the net first. If we imagine that this player is over in front of the net here somewhere and they have basically gone straight from their position initially through the middle directly to the net. Let's just have a look at what options there are. So as that player comes through, the two red defensemen, each of them has a choice. Do they go with the player that is going to the net or do they stay out at a distance from their net and allow that player to go to the net unmarked? In the previous video that I looked at, the defenseman allowed that player to go to the net unmarked and they chose to hold a higher defensive line. So we'll start with that option. If that player was in here, then essentially there would still be a two on one against this red defenseman here, but rather than it being to the side, it would be in the middle. So if the ball carrier was able to play the ball into here, without it being disrupted, then that would mean that this player here would be able to get the ball and be alone with the goalkeeper, which is a very favorable position. However, that pass through is definitely a lot harder to make than the pass to the outside here. The other option would be that one of the red defensemen goes with the player in here that drove the net. If that were the case, then the black team would have a two-on-one against the defenseman who did not mark that player going to the net. So you could imagine if it were this player who went back to the net with that player, then there would be plenty of space in this area here and probably there'd be quite an easy pass for this ball carrier into this area here for this player to collect and possibly shoot or maybe go for another pass back from there. Alternatively, if it were this player who marked the black player going to the net, then there would be a two on one against this defensive player here. And there would be plenty of space through here for the ball carrier to probably continue to drive into and there would likely still be a good passing option out this side. So I just wanted to go through 
those options there just to show how even if the most advanced player went to the net in the same way as it happened in the previous video, there are still options to generate a good attacking play. With something like this, so long as there's an outnumbering situation, there can always be a two-on-one generated against one of the defensive players while the other defensive player is busy marking the third attacking player. So that's all I really wanted to go through in this video. I'm not going to go into detail about defense or, or anything like that. I wanted to keep this video a bit shorter and you may see some shorter videos from me in the near future. I'm just experimenting with different depths of analysis and hopefully freeing up a little bit of time to work on some other types of videos rather than just looking at goals. So. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, det är han som checkar tunnelheden. Det går inte med på istället. Nilsson. Ah, fin spelat, tycker mål.